who this is podcast needs to be out there it needs to be promoted it needs to be unfiltered it needs to be real and needs to promote shit that matters i fuck with it i love them congrats on 2500 we can do 25,000 easy so let's go Who this? Those demons inside you? Mm. Oh. Oh. Let them go. Before it's too late. Oh, I'm dying. No way! I can't believe this! Oh no, man, come on. Oh no. Don't die on me! God damn it! Don't die. Fuzzy. Somebody did this. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. We're trying that again with the video format now included with the audio to sync in, hopefully, in real time. With while I record something spectacular, of course. This is who this reporting for the Something Spectacular podcast. Because this is my platform. I usually communicate with you motherfuckers out there. I don't mean you motherfuckers as in a bad thing, but how I address you. Because I know you at this point. Or you know me at this point because... Obviously, you listen. Obviously, you've tuned in. You've liked, I hope. You've subscribed, I really hope. You've commented, I really, really hope. And on top of that, to boot on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, whatever you call it, it really helps me if you give me five stars. I absolutely pray to God, hope. You've done that for me. And more importantly, for something spectacular. Who this, by the way, again, that's me. I just got to emphasize that all the time because speaking of numbers, I just hit 25 fucking hundred on SoundCloud, at least. Like, I, Apple iTunes is playing funny. It's basically saying I don't have enough to show or merit my worth on the Apple iTunes podcast charts, whatever, so I don't have those stats available to me. Spotify is my fault. I haven't really promoted that one too much. Except for Instagram stories reminding you it's available on Spotify or asking a couple of people, I think. I forget who. Hey, do you have Spotify? Okay, great. The podcast is on there. I'll send you that link so it works easier for you and, you know, easy for me too. Because Spotify, the cool thing is song, playlist. Uh, I'm sorry. You can rearrange the playlist to play songs and the podcast back into songs and vice versa. You know, it's it's convenient. It helps. Apple surprisingly still can't do that, even if their phone is dedicated solely to that, mostly. But that's neither here nor there. More importantly, 2,500 plays on motherfucking SoundCloud or according to motherfucking SoundCloud. So applauses go out to you, to me, the podcast, everybody involved, especially all the guests I've had, the regulars. The one-timers that asked to come back, and they're more than welcome to come back to as well, to the podcast. It's phenomenal to think that someone like me was granted the gift of not just his voice, as I've been told. That's not me being egotistical or feeling myself too much. As I've been told, besides having the voice, you know, I might as well include the video the visuals for the podcast to make it more appealing to, I guess, those that are too lazy to actually subscribe or comment, rate, or even download a podcast for the sake of on their phones. They're more a visual person, so they're more into coloring books than they are into actual real adult literature, which is fine and dandy, but, you know, we have to comedy and and appease to all crowds. So again, to the crowd, to the audience, thank you. The 2,500 plays and listens on SoundCloud. As I said to everybody that's been on the show, if I forget anybody, please forgive me, but off the top of my head right here, you know, AO Productions, you got, who's a regular, family and friend to the show, and honestly, who got me back into podcasting on a regular basis and schedule, thanks to him, always thanks to him, and praise him. You got uh, also show regulars, of course, Brendan, the realest of them, put me in a fucking video of his. So thanks to him for that shit. That's a great look. He didn't have to do that. By the way, go check out and download and more importantly, stream your on Spotify from Brendan. Of course, his bandmates and also who've been on the show already. Uh, Franny P, of course, The Pain, Frankie Payne, 
You got Dr. Mike on the drums, of course. Eddie the Tech, a frequent collaborator and friend of all of them as well. Met them through AO, of course. Shout out to Afro Dominicano, of course, for the merch. Appreciate all of them. There's seven of them, eight of them. I can't even remember all of them. But if I remember, and I haven't had them yet on the show, outside of Frankie, of course, he's the only bandmate I had. But soon enough, proud to announce, soon enough, they'll be on the program. So that's cool. Shout outs to Afro again, doing their thing always. Shout outs to uh, Melly Murphy. She was here with Rob. Uh, no, she was here the first time with Eddie the Tech, of course, a repeat offender on the program, always a friend and family to the show, doing her thing. Uh, then she came back with her better half, her boo thing, Rob, from both Kalor and Analma, or Analema. However you want to pronounce it, Rob, it's all on you. And you said you gave me the cosign I can call Anal Emma, so that's fine, too. He did his thing for Rob Exotic Part 1 and 2, thanks to him. You know, you got a Kudo, did his thing. Icy World Entertainment, his whole thing he runs with his brother, who they'll also be on the show very soon as well. So shout out to them, and thanks for the listens on their behalf, their fan base, their listeners. They got over to me, too, as well, and they had fun here. I mean, well, he had fun here. They'll all have fun here once they all come through. And, of course, big shout-outs, big time. Always praise to Know It All, who's also very talented and essential artist to the format, the art form of rap and hip-hop. Of course, he's from Queens, so even he gets a double applause. It's always worthy of praise and applause. Shout-outs to him, and I'll be doing something with him as well, too, again, along with his frequent collaborator, his musical other half, his probably go-to producer at this point too laptop so that'll be coming out soon as well shout outs and applause to them i I might forget somebody i I swear i'm gonna forget somebody i'm gonna feel really bad but no actually i think i got everybody i did get everybody so far that has been on the program meaning i haven't had a lot but they helped a lot to make this thing happen so yeah thanks to all them thanks to all you who listened and tuned in Everybody who gave me positive feedback, and even if it was negative, I don't care either. But any feedback is feedback is much appreciated. You know, shout outs to Julissa. Um, she's a fan of the show, according to her. I didn't pay her to say that. I didn't give her anything in exchange to say that. She just flat out said it. And I really appreciate that and I'm really honored to uh, hear that from somebody that wasn't like my mother <laughs> of anything. I don't have her listen to the show anyway. She's uh, she don't, no speaking English, so can't understand the rants and the raves but also shout out to her of course she gets a, an applause why not and also shout outs to uh cali i think his name was on campus at laguardia i don't know his real name for real but brooklyn will 86 on instagram i, I want to say it's kashim if i got that right i'm so sorry so you know Shout out to my poor name reading skills, but, you know, I tried. Hopefully I got it right, and if I got it wrong, you just shout me out or just, you know, maybe do 50 push-ups because he's, you know, a military guy. Shout out to the military and troops. Hopefully they stay safe. But, um, yeah, he's gave me a lot of positive feedback, too. I really appreciate that always. Angel, too, always, you know, real friendly. Ashley quotes things back to me from the show which I always really appreciate you know because it, it means a lot to keep me going and motivated and everybody too involved everybody's had fun so far who's come through to the show and the great takeaway I got from it is they keep want they, they want to keep coming back or they want to keep working which is essential to me because I mean listen at this point I'm an essential worker just like you know okay maybe not as essential I'm I'm essential B class. Essential A class would be like the paramedics and the firefighters. And then I guess, depending on how you feel about the police, you can put them in there too. But they're essentially assholes. Not all of them. Some. I'm not going to go there too. That's a touchy subject. But of course, yes, black lives matter. All lives can't matter until black lives matter. That's essential. That's the message here. But I'll leave that at that. I I don't want to get people's nerves all riled up because I said something and politics isn't my strong suit my forte i like talking more about like the gooches and the taints the anals of history all that shit that the silliness the bullshit that's all i'm about but yeah thank you again to anybody who's either listened or been on the show 
and who's about to be on the show too because they got a lot more planned besides the visual addition to the podcast and just trying to make things happen in general and trying to add on and make this even more top quality grade A product per se. You know, right now I've been dealing that kind of like really, really strong on the low, low kind of strand of weed. I guess that only some know about, but once they got it, they keep coming back to it. They they put on their most intimate, most trusty confidants to it. But now it's trying to expand. It's trying to break away from just the block and try to expand to like at least the neighborhood and start from there, you know. Word gets out from, oh, yeah, they got that really good strain out there, Far Rock, you know. But I'm over here in motherfucking uh, Mass Pit or something, Queen somewhere. You know, and then word, tr- word trickles around the Brooklyn. Then they start coming through and creeping through like roaches and shit. And that's not to downplay Brooklyn, but Brooklyn is, you know, I- I'm Queens all day. So Brooklyn, I'm sorry. Only if I know people from Brooklyn, I interact and go to them directly. Outside of that, you won't catch me in Brooklyn for no reason. Maybe the Barclays. That's if wrestling's in town or like a good show or concert. But even then, that's it. And then, you know, expanding to somebody from Staten Island out of nowhere comes through and listens and like, hey, I want some of that too, man. I'm feeding I'm scratching for it. Give me. Or whatever. And then, you know, word gets around. St. Louis knocking on my door. Someone from Cali. I got a viewer. Sorry, I got a listener. A regular listener from Mountain View, California, of all places. I have no idea what that is. It's in California, obviously, and somewhere with a mountain view, I guess. But on SoundCloud, according to that uh, site and those stats, they're my most frequent listener. So shout-outs to whoever is in Mountain View, California, of all places, who listens so often that as soon as I put up an episode, within like maybe two to four hours at most, I, I've, I've checked just to be sure I'm not going, you know, paranoid or something, or I'm delusional. They're there. And it's every episode, too. And I think they might have been the same person, if they are or not, correct me, you know, feel free to get at me on IG, who this dot is, or Twitter as well, too. I don't know how you know me. And I don't know who it is, to be honest. That's the thing, funny enough. I don't know who this is. But Mountain View, California, listener, viewer, whatever you are, whoever you are, or however you are, wherever you are, but I know where you are, obviously, according to SoundCloud. I'm not stalking, by the way. But reach out to me. Let me know, because it, it's flattering to see that as soon as I put something out, within the, a matter of hours, they've already listened. I've got no feedback from them. Or I don't know if I have already, and someone's, someone's like playing games with like geotagging and putting themselves out randomly. But I don't know. I, I don't know how that goes. Or maybe you're an IT guy or a hacker. Uh, if you are, that that really helped me because I'm trying to get on Twitch and trying to get these streams numbers up. So, yeah, help me out in that sense or give me tips. Pause. But who are you? Reveal yourself, please. I- I'm out here scratching my head like a, like a goddamn ape trying to figure out who. Who it might be. And I'm flattered, but just let me know because that, that that's good for me, for my ego, which isn't big. Pause. But it it would help for it to grow and to add and contribute to the podcast. So Mountain View, California listener, whoever you are, not wherever you are, but whoever, more essentially, please take this as a welcome invite to reveal yourself and let me know who you are. I need to know. I want to thank you and put you on the pedestal you deserve. Because, yes, I did mention I got Julissa, I got, you know, Kashim, I got um, Angel, AO, however he calls himself, and some other people, too, that I've reached out that I can't remember right now, but Mountain View, California, and, and you, too, Litvonia, Michigan. I swear, thank God for SoundCloud, because I wouldn't know these places exist, first off, and second, that you people are there and listening as much and as quickly and as often as you are to every episode, so... Shout outs again to Mountain View, California, Litvonia, Michigan. Let me know who you are. Reveal yourself. Unveil yourself. Take off your masks. Please. I'm dying to know who you are so I can brag and say, hey, Mountain View, California, I'll be doing a live show near you soon enough. Once this whole pandemic is over, of course. Litvonia, Michigan, however close to Detroit you are, preferably not so close because I'm kind of scared of Detroit according to RoboCop 
that whole trilogy and how it's been presented according to Eminem and D12 and Royce the 5'9. I'll be coming to a show near you live. But please let me know. It'd be nice. It'd be great to see. 2,500 plays on SoundCloud, of course. I, I can't be, I can't describe or put in the words how proud I am to have made it to that number. It's great. It's fantastic. I, I mean, I, I can only describe that by saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 2,500 is a big deal. You know what I mean? It just, I mean. Exactly. I, I can't really find the words as per tip, Pause said right there, right now. T.I., who, you know, side note briefly. T.I. versus 50, if that materializes and happens according to verses in that universe, it might be neck and neck. It might be my New York bias, more specifically my Queens biased. I still think 50 takes that one because you can't beat in the club, which is beyond international smash hit or anything. It's like 50 years from now, when we're grandparents, we'll know and remember the song, but then our grandkids will probably still be dancing or whatever, shimmy into it too as well. And it'll be brought up. Like if my mother, no speak of English, house cleaner, hardworking lady and all that shit, uh, 71 this year she turned, of all things. Uh, yeah, I, I think she deserves one of those. <laughs> Briefly, you know, she did enough. She's my mother. Don't give her too much praise. Uh, <laughs> but even she knows the song. And that was on the level of, uh, what, Snoop's Drop It Like It's Hot. Where she's one of those old-ass Spanish moms which they try to downplay the black man's existence and try to, you know, make me believe in that too. But thankfully, I was raised, born and raised in Queens, so I didn't buy into that at all. Mom! That's why she only got a little bit of applause. She don't get the full-on chuck full of audience applause. No, she don't deserve it in that sense. But she, she even, I caught a bop in the head to drop it like it's hot and in the club because the Spanish networks played that shit too when it was popular enough according to them. You know, vamos a tocar este nuevo éxito de 50 Cent in the club. Uh, boom, 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 whatever they did. That bullshit. Uh, always trying to bl downplay the black man, which is why, again, black lives matter. All lives can't matter until black lives matter. That's what I'm saying. That's the truth right there. As much as you want to pose that it is. I'm sorry, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's, let's not go too deep or in depth with that. Let's just leave that alone. You know, there's the protest going on. There's still minimal to no changes really happening in favor of because it's little things that that's happening. It, it's sad to see because they deserve more, but it comes at a cost and see and, and to see where it actually evolves or, or grows into, that's the hard part because we need to see when changes occur. But I don't know. That's, that's Black Lives Matter. That's politics again. Not my strong suit, not my forte. God willing, if I'm able to convince him to get on the show, not just once, but more often as a regular contributor of anything, I got my boy um, on Twitter, I am Mix24, who's a real, real savvy political guy. He's going to be doing his thing soon enough, hopefully here. But I haven't proposed that to him yet. I've kind of like hinted at it, but he'd be really good because he's so far right. But at the same time, no, not really pro-black. He's He just happens to be black of all things, which is cool because he's a good guy from Flushing. You know, straight shooter, no bullshit, no frills, nothing. But he's so right wing now surprisingly to me at least he's always been politically savvy and smart like i always went to him even from our college days to get knowledge on the politics of today what's going on what matters or even just as something as simple as the breakdown hey what does this all mean right here that's going on with this guy he do 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 lay it down and just uh, sorry lay it out for me in layman's terms per se so Hopefully I get him soon. I mean, he's got 20,000 followers on Twitter. He's getting retweeted and responded to and a little bit of trolling too. That doesn't hurt, but he's doing well as far as that realm's concerned. He's he's a hit, if anything. So hopefully I get him on here soon, at least to talk some politics and or bullshit and see like, uh, you know, his, uh, his fetish for Asian girls. That You didn't hear that from me though, but okay. Um... <laughs> 
for your something spectacular 2500 plays on soundcloud thank you again to everybody who listened who added on to the numbers and the stats and also everybody who helped me as far as being a guest and a friend and family to the show extended of course because a lot of us if not most of us don't look a thing alike meaning you and anybody that's been on the show so that'd be a lot of explaining to do if we had to deep dive into oh how do you know this person oh they're family or like everybody says you oh they're fam they're fam like are they really fam or are they just fam in the proverbial sense of okay yes i call them but they're not really but they're close enough to and whatever whatever kind of thing i don't know something spectacular 2500 plays thank you so much who this of course ig who this is sorry who this dot is i had to change that and clarify because people started thinking i was who this is but which wouldn't be too bad either which might still work but it's who this that's who i always been who this that's the mystery that's the allure of it who this is at gmail if you need to email me anything and feel free to do so music tracks beds fan mail if you got any commentary feedback i don't care send me something just don't send me nudes i I don't need to be involved in anybody's world beyond or going into the creepy shit of uh, let me see your feet or whatever. Don't don't ever ask to see my feet because not only will I punch you in whichever eye you use best to drive with or whatever which one functions best, but I'll also scar you for life by looking at my feet. They're in bad shape. You, you don't want to see them ever. So my, my career as a foot fetish model has failed before I even got started, unfortunately. I don't know. But yeah, Twitter, who this... On Twitch now, who this is one, and I'd be streaming, I'd be playing games badly, but I'd be on there, committed to try to make a difference and change. As you know already, something spectacular, the podcast, something spectacular on all podcasts, streaming platforms, wherever you get your podcasts is where you're going to get this and find it. Apple iTunes, SoundCloud, of course, thank you, 2,500 plays, Spotify, Stitcher. Google Podcast, wherever you get your podcast from. And on YouTube soon enough with the video, of course, this is the point of. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. This is kind of like a mini episode in additional praise to everybody who helped with the whole Operation Expander now. We're trying to grow here. I'm trying to grow from that that little raw brick of whatever I cooked up in the kitchen and only gave to some fiends and you know they keep coming back and that's nice and all that but i need to expand i need to grow i need to put my kids through college so now the brick needs to be accompanied by a couple more bricks and you line them up lay them out to create a whole foundation building blocks per se to the bigger empire i'm making an upside down pyramid but please don't think i'm trying to make a ponzi scheme or anything like that i swear no bernie made off does he get a rest in peace no uh rest in piss if anything but Yeah, that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't got money like that to even do that to start with, so don't play with mines either. I get you, and I respect that. I respect your wallet enough. But yeah, the the point I'm trying to make is I'm trying to expand and grow. Come on, help me out here. Spread the word. Five stars on Apple iTunes, please, if you can. That really helped me out a lot. Thank you. Who this? Shout out to Afro Dominicana for the merch, of course. I love this hat. So comfy and so comfortable. Thank you.